Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm on my second island. I decided to go with Nintendox hard mode to see what that's all about. A shout out to my sister who would like to see a video of this. Shout out to my nephew. Maybe he'd like to give this a try. Um, anyway, we're going to get started with, uh, with this. So. Yeah, I'm not sure about all if you guys want to see all this, so let's get the name put in and then we will get to our island. As you know, with hard mode, you only get two shots at picking an island. Um, so if you reroll, you're stuck with the next one. And two villagers that you have to get the photos before they can go away. First time, it's only one of your starters, so... Um, so let's uh, give this a go. I am going to, I'm going to call this character Pony Boy because I really like the Outsiders. So, Okay, I'm gonna do birthday, um, just I guess this is a good birthday to have. So let's see, Pony Boy has brown hair. I'm honestly not sure what color eyes he has, so we'll just leave him blue. Oh, also, I went ahead and set the game ahead to March because I'm tired of the snow. I live in a very snowy, cold area, so I just kind of wanted to play in a warmer game setting. You know, so it would be really nice. Um, you know, no snow. So let's see what islands they're going to give me. You know, honestly, I don't like any of these islands. But, um, the one the finger's currently pointing to seems fairly decent. Um... You know, I don't like that little extra piece of land with the lake on it, but it's kind of doable. Um, let's see. There's like a lot of room, so I don't like how close that resin service is, but I could get a worse four on the next roll, so we're going to go with this one. I always say that because, you know, if you're on a deserted island, you can usually find food. You can usually find heat somehow or another. But you need something to cover up with at night because it probably gets cold. <laughs> um, I'm not going to bore you guys with this stuff because it bores me. So, you know, shout out to Nintentalk for making these rules. And I will get these up as soon as I can. Alright, so it looks like we got pears on our island, so that's kind of nice. I usually get stuck with peaches, so that's good. Um, looks, I think that's Billy, and I'm not sure who that cat is, so... It's a green airport, which I really have no preference with the airport anyway. But the villagers I think I'm going to be quite happy with, so... Let's see how close this resident services actually is. Uh, it's a little, it's doable. It's doable. Oh, yeah, and your island name also has to be drawn from a random generator, which I did do that from Pixel Pops, so it's a weird name, but. 
It was like the third name that came up because the first two were even weirder, so. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sorry, I forgot to save the little thing that showed. I did pick my name out, the island name from a generator, so. I had to save that um, to put it on this video. Okay, let's see. What's my map? Okay, um, I'm going to go over here. Oh, yeah, and your villagers, wherever they're at, they kind of have to stay there. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, before we get going any further with where I'm placing stuff, I want to show you the rules okay so we got let me find them here as soon as I figure out where I hid them yeah here we are okay um, we got these are the basic rules of hard mode um, so you might want to screenshot this if you haven't already seen this um, I'm, hard mode has gotten around so I'm sure maybe some of you guys have seen this some of you might not have but these are the basic rules um, I this one is does not have Nintendo Switch Online so I'm going to have to fudge some stuff because I won't get to do the Sunday markets to make bells. So my idea, I'm not going to fudge too much, I'm going to try to stick to the rules, but I'm going to still save for CJ and Flick buying my bugs and fish, but I'm also going to have like maybe three to four fish or bugs put aside to sell on just Sunday, seeing how I can't do the markets. So that way I can get a few bells. Anyway, so that's the basic rules. And then we also have the daily che checklist, um, things you have to do every day. Obviously you can't do Katrina until after you have three stars and you get her on um, Harv's Island. So, you know, and obviously Abel you can't purchase until you have her. But yeah, so those are the daily things that you have to do every day um, that you can do, obviously. Um, there's also where to sell. So, um, you sell your bugs to Flick, your fish to CJ, and like I said, I'm going to fudge it just a little bit because I can't do that, um, Sunday thing. But, um, Timmy and Tommy, directly to Timmy and Tommy, DIY items, materials, and turnips. Sell your, all your weeds to, um, the le leaf and anything else you got your fruits your crops your sea creatures and your forageables that go in the little box outside Timmy and Tommy's shop which obviously you have to have the shop first to do that and then it says everything else can be sold at the Sunday markets you know if you have Nintendo Switch online and it says you can't sell fossils so I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing with them I usually gift the fossils that don't go into the museums but again, because I can't do the Sunday markets, I'm going to like set aside some fish and sea creatures. So, but you know, not too many because I don't want to. You know, I don't want to fudge it too much, is what I'm trying to say. Goodness sakes. Okay, so I am think I'm going to put my tent right here. In front of this tree. Alright, now, as far as your villagers go, they have to, wherever they are thinking about it, is where their tent has to go. You can't put them in a different spot. And that's Cat. Okay, I can't believe I forgot that cat's name. Um, anyway, so... 
Again, it has to be wherever they're thinking about putting the tent. You can't put it somewhere else, so. And now I gotta go find Billy Goat Gruff. Um, she's probably over here. Oh, I didn't realize she was that close to the, oh, he is too. They're both close to resident services, so yeah, that's a little weird. Okay, so now we are gonna go and collect our branches and our pears for Tom Nook. Um, at the start of the game, just so you guys, for those of you who don't know, you need six of your fruit, whatever your fruit is, and 10 branches to bring back to Tom Nook. So. So I was, after I talked to him, of course, I will be bringing him back 10 branches and six pieces of fruit. So, um, so there's one branch. There's two branches. There's three fruits. How many branches do I have? Three. Four. I got all the fruits, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be ten. Yep, that's ten. So I'm guessing until you have actually have Timmy and Tommy's shop to sell the fruit, you can obviously just sell it right there in the tent because, you know, you don't have their shop yet. And you can only have nine fruit trees, whatever fruit trees you want. Um, obviously the ones that are your native, like mine or pears, are going to sell for less. So I'd make sure those nine, the ones that you're foraging from, the ones that you're selling. I mean, you can have more than nine, but you can only pick from nine to sell and four coconut trees so and we'll get to the crops when I get to the crops um, so anyway we're gonna do I am going to show you my uh, island name that got picked for me just so you know Lemon Bell is going to be my island. So, like I said, that was about the third one that showed up. The other two were just hideous, so I went with that one. Sorry, I'm trying to get this taken care of. Um, so, yeah. All right, here we go with Lemon Bell. Now, according to this, the two words are separated, so there should be enough room for spaces. Because some of them, goodness sakes. Because some of them, the words are all ran together, so but this one wasn't, so I'm gonna guess that it's safe to put that space in between. So we'll see, I guess. Because sometimes you can't, there's just not enough room. Let's give it a go. Yeah, look, it fits with the space. Yikes, okay. Rocks a lot. See, I could've gotten rocks a lot. <laughs> I vote for rocks a lot. Woo! 
Well, let's see, I usually say just howdy, but let's do that one this time. Pear juice, yummy. And for those of you who are trying hard mode or just playing from the beginning or just got the game, you got to make sure you go, not him, goodness gracious, him. <laughs> you got to go talk to Tom Nook and get your um, cop before you go lay down. And you have to go lay down so the game moves on. So, alrighty, let's see here. I'll find my stupid tent. What did I do with it? There it is. Move that over here somewhere. Okay, now he's going to go to sleep, and then when he wakes up, it'll be set in the real time of the real world. So and of course you get dumb dog concert. Well, not a full concert. You just dream about him, I guess. And I've called him dumb dog for so long I don't even know his name. Oh, KK. <laughs> and he called himself a cat. So, okay. All right, we're going to have Tom Nook wake us up, and we're going to do our first day of hard mode, our first official day of hard mode. And then I'm going to try to do, you know, daily hard mode for you guys, okay? If I remember, my ADHD and autism kind of just mess with me sometimes. So the first day we got to get 5,000 bells, or not bells, Nook miles to pay to get our house. So... And of course we need way more than that because we need Nook Miles, so. Um, and Nook Miles are the hardest thing to grind for, honestly. But there's really not a whole lot on the first day. And I usually go around picking up weeds and all that, which I am going to pick up weeds because they're going to be needed for some recipes for my new villagers. Like for the hay bed or whatever. I mean, sometimes you get the hay bed, make them a hay bed. Sometimes you don't. And tree branches. Sometimes you get stuff, you need tree branches. So, but um, I'm going to not pick up too terrible ma many weeds. Or maybe I'll just leave the weeds alone and pick them up when I need to. That's probably a better thought. I have issues with leaving weeds on my island. It's kind of, again, the ADHD in me. I kind of, ugh. <laughs> I don't like seeing them there. But I'll suffer through it. Um, and I'm assuming on first day, and this is my assumptions, that the pears that are in the trees, aside for what you need, which 20, you'll need 20 of your native fruit. That you will need for your new villagers when you're building their houses. And I will put those aside, but I'm going to guess you can go ahead and sell the fruit too. Because um, you got to get bells somehow your first day. I mean, there's not a whole lot to get bells with on your first day so I mean that's just my guess you, you know once you donate things because you got to donate five to him to get the museum and then of course any um, once you've laid down your museum they need the museum needs 15 so once you get past that maybe I don't I, I don't know I'm just saying you need bells the first day and a lot of times weeds, not many bells, but it gives me bells. And see how you're limited on the first day of stuff you can, can and can't do. I don't know. I don't want to fudge with it too much though, so. 
And like I said, I set this to March 1st just because I didn't want to deal with snow anymore. Um, so, also, get your points. You can get points with the camera. Take your first picture. You get points making your first design, which that's another thing. You have to make your own custom clothes. Um, and you get points when you fix your passport. These are right away first point things. And there's already a first point thing sitting in here. I think you get like 1,500 nook miles. Might be a little bit more, a little bit less. But, yeah. So, take a picture. And there's some points. And then... You make custom design and you'll get points for that. And I'm not going to do my shirt one just yet. You'll see my shirt one later. But I'm just going to make a really easy one to show you. You get points for making your first custom design. Um, so let's do an invisible one for when I have flowers. And I'll change the name later. But that's the invisible one to lay on the ground where it looks like the ground. Um, and you get points for that and then you get points for changing your passport so um, let's just edit the comment we'll put hi and then you get a bunch of points so our nook miles I don't know why I'm calling them points um, so that's your first one that it dinged on. But then you'll get a bunch of other points. What did that say? See, you just get a bunch of other points. And why am I just now noticing? Oh, wait, never mind. Okay. Never mind. Okay. See, you get a bunch of points your first 1,600. See, off to a good start already. Um, and you need five branches so you can get some, get your net and your fishing rod and learn how to do DIYs from Tom Nook. Um, well, obviously you're going to need more if you want to make some more stuff. Um, I would suggest doing this first. Um, so that way when you go in there and talk, you have your branches. Um, so yeah, um, see what Billy Goat Gruff has to say. It's gonna give me a hat. Ah, it's the tulip hat. <laughs> I was hoping it would have been the mesh hat. That's like a good one, or the plain hat. Tulip hat is so stupid looking. <laughs> Look at that. Although it kind of matches my little guy, so. Oh, yeah, you get points too for this. Um, so. Not for looking at it, but for adding your own, so. So let's create a post. My controllers have issues. Stop that. And just like that, more Nook Miles. And again, I don't know why I'm calling them points. So look at there, already up to 1900. So, doing good. So yeah, you go talk to Tom Nook, you learn how to make your DIYs, and then you just keep going with the first day, which again, not a lot. You gotta give him five things, five 
either bugs or fish, whatever, so you can get the museum open. And then we'll go from there. So I will see you guys later on day two, because I consider this day one because it's the first full day. So peace out, y'all. Stay gold.